And then two follow-up questions. Also, can you recommend any bus bench program that focus on loaded carries? Um, well, the only thing I can do is, if you don't mind, if I could uh, share my experience when I first started doing them, um, what I began to do was because of the situation with the yard I had at the time, is I would leave the I could leave the sleds out there, I could leave the big bags out there, and I only had to carry out a little bit of stuff. So basically, I wouldn't say it was a bus bench program, but I would take the stuff out there and just do it every training session. I would I would mix uh, Highland Games throwing uh, with different drills and I brought the Olympic bar out too with snatches and cleans and then made sure I did loaded carries every day. I don't have a bus bench program because Taylor the key I think with bus, uh, with loaded carries is to have as much variation as your capacity to think of variation is. And if you come up if you come up with an idea and you do it and it's a miserable failure don't tell anybody. But if you come up with an idea that's brilliant, share it with the world and give it a cool name and name it after yourself. Um, but the key to loaded carries is always change the distance, the load, uh, the movements as much as you can. Uh, that's And that is a hard thing for people, I think, in 2020 to understand because a lot of people have been kind of spoon-fed programs their whole life. You know, you get the Muscle and Fitness or Men's Health magazine and, you know, you want titanic trapezius is in six weeks and they have 73 different exercises and none of them are snatches and cleans uh, or you know tremendous triceps or you know you know whittle yourself down for bikini season you know doing you know doing lunges and those burpees that they always show in men's health when it comes to loaded carries the advice is yeah do them yeah whatever you got any way you want to do it and that's not comforting for a lot of people. Lou Schuler wrote a very good article in Men's Health a while ago. He quoted, uh, uh, what's that guy's name, Dan John, uh, quite a bit in the article, which I thought was brilliant. Um, but basically, he gave a whole bunch of variations and then kind of stopped there and didn't give too much about programming. The key is, <laughs> the programming is two words, do them. 